Hey everyone, welcome to Love Them Well. My name is Lindsay and today I wanna to tell you how to study for math. How do I study for math? That is a question I get from a lot of my students. It's actually super simple to study for math and I hope these tips help you out. First of all, when you're studying for a test, the point is not to get a good grade on the test. The point is for you to learn the material. So the best way to do that is to not cram the night before for a test, especially with math, because math concepts build on each other. So my best tip for any math student is to study almost every night. Take home the work that you have done that day in class and just go over your notes. And I recommend this for any class you take, but especially math. I would rework some of the problems. If you didn't have homework that night, rework some of the problems you did in class. But also, tip number two, do your homework. Teachers do not give you homework to torture you. It is to give you extra practice. I am not a big proponent of homework. However, with math, sometimes it's necessary to give students homework so that you can have time to practice on your own when I'm not there to help you all along the way. Sometimes the best way to learn math is to take what the teacher has taught you and then figure it out on your own. Those little light bulbs that go, oh, I get it now. That best happens when you've taken what you've learned and applied it on your own and then it sticks. So after you've looked over your homework every night, you're going through one or two questions, making sure you understand it. That is when you can ask questions the next day in class. If you wait till the day of the review to ask all of your questions, you may not get them all answered. So as you go, make sure you're asking those questions to your teacher. We love questions. We wanna help you. We want you to understand it. So ask those questions so that we can know where we can help you best. And then I'm pretty sure 99.9% .9 of teachers, hopefully 100%, give you a study guide or a practice test. The fun thing about math is that there isn't going to be anything new on the test. What you've done in class is what's going to be on the test. So if you know how to do those concepts, you're gonna be able to do them on the test. Go over that study guide, go over that practice test. And how do you do that? Just redo the problems. And this is where my favorite study hack comes. For any subject, you need to have your own whiteboard at home. I love whiteboards. I have one for my kids for them to do their homework. They're 10 bucks at Target. Get one of the bigger ones because those are fun. Get all the colors and their eraser and then rewrite those problems and then practice doing them. It's okay that you have the answer in front of you. That's actually my favorite way to do math. Here's the beginning, here's the end. How do I get there? And then did you get the right answer? If you didn't, you should have the examples right there in front of you of how you need to get there and then try it again. Another great way to do that is to agree with a friend that you guys are gonna write a test with an example from every question you've had that unit. You would write a test, work out the problems, have the answers ready, and then give that test to your friend and they would give you theirs. That would be a great way to study for a math test. If your test is open note, never go into an open note test thinking you don't have to study. You have to know how to plug those numbers in and get the right answers for you to be able to be successful on that test. These are my study tips. How do you study for math? I hope you all have a great day. Bye.